first. An arm of Focus on the Family is fighting an anti-discrimination bill ready for the governor's signature. Senate Bill 200 will make discrimination based on sexual orientation illegal. First at 10, you're going to hear part of a radio ad that calls for the bill to be vetoed. News Channel 13 political reporter Marshall Zellinger is live to tell us why it's causing a stir. Well, John, the bill which passed through the legislature means gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender individuals would not be discriminated against, just like age, race, and sex. However, Focus on the Family Action believes this bill would let sexual predators walk right into the bathroom of your child's school. Mom! A man in a dress came into the girls' restroom at school today. This is the start of a radio ad against Senate Bill 200, which adds sexual orientation to anti-discrimination law. Cross-dressing would be part of the protected categories under the new definitions of sexual orientation. Focus on the family action. Produce the radio spot because part of the bill protects against discrimination at places of public accommodations, a term Focus feels is too broad. Restrooms, locker rooms are all public accommodations and are covered by that law. We could all be dealing with a new type of predator. But who does Focus consider to be a predator? A predator? A sexual predator? I have to define sexual predator? This is a pretty clear attack on the transgender community. The Colorado Springs Pride Center calls the ad a form of fear-mongering. They've taken information and twisted it around. This bill uh, has nothing really to do with restrooms. That term, places of public accommodation, does have some exemptions. Churches, synagogues, mosques, anywhere that's primarily a place of worship can still discriminate based on sexual orientation, even if this bill is signed. To see what kind of anti-discrimination bill Focus on the Family Action would support, we've got that on KRDO.com. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, News Channel 13. Governor Ritter has until June 5th to decide on the bill. About the radio ad, his spokesman, Evan Dreyer, tells News Channel 13, quote, the intent of this particular anti-discrimination bill is to update existing laws. It appears focus on the family is misconstruing this bill and waging a campaign based on fear, and that's disappointing.